Good everyone, I'm going video. Today we have a premium review on the i16 Type 28. We're beginning with the sale vehicles that I got recently, and we are going to be beginning with, well, first of all, just a little bit of a heads up. Um, due to the amount of premium vehicles that I have in the backlog, plus the vehicles that I got in the sale, um, just for a little bit of time, there will be a brief section where, like, well, there will be a brief time period where there's going to be two videos of premium reviews in one day. There's going to be some old vehicles that I had before the sale, and of course, there's going to be the new ones, so just bear that in mind. Just as a heads up, though, I would heavily recommend watching both, because obviously I will be reviewing both vehicles in detail. So, nothing's going to change, it's literally just going to be two videos in one day, just to clear it up. So, the i16 Type 28 is available in the Russian Premium Tech Tree. But the thing is, is that this thing has a bit of a problem, in my opinion. And that is its price. Now, it is a fun little plane, I've had a few matches in it, and it is quite a fun little plane. The problem is, is that its price tag is way too high for what it is. This aircraft costs 1,350 Golden Eagles. And for that, you do get basically a copy-paste of the 27 in the tech tree. Now, there is a couple of differences, like the wooden wings and, of course, the different coloured engine cowling. But other than that, there really isn't many differences between this and the Type 27. Now, there is something that not many people tend to bring up in these reviews, and that is the secret mission that you can have. I believe it's this one? Uh, yeah, it's this one. They Shall Not Pass. This is a single-player mission that you can unlock if you play enough of this plane. However, you have to win 55 matches. This is something you can unlock, um, which not many people tend to bring up. But if you do buy this plane and you win 55 matches, you can get a single mission to play with, I suppose. But the problem is, does this plane warrant such a high rep well, G price tag? I personally don't think so. Whilst it is a very fun plane, I would recommend till it's 50% off, like I did. Because 1350G for a copy-paste of the one in the tech tree, minus like two different, or like two little differences, really doesn't warrant a price tag that high. To put it into perspective, if we just go to the aviation tree, the P-40 is 700, the Hurricane is 700, the I-153P is 950, and the P-39K I believe is 1000. I don't know if they've changed it since they added the bomb. But why does this one happen to be so high in price is what confuses me. But otherwise, same engine, same guns, same fuel tank placement, same ordnance. There really is nothing else to cover here. And there's even the same backrest armor, which will do absolutely nothing to save you. Just, just saying that now. But do I recommend picking up this plane? I personally would. But I would wait till 50% off, and even then, I would actually leave this plane till last. This was the last Russian GE Rank 2 Premium that I had to get. And um, thanks to Jane Sprite, I was able to get this thing. But would I recommend someone going out of their way and purchasing this? No, I wouldn't. This is not a first Premium that you purchase. If you want something for your Rank 2 Russian Tech Tree, get the P40 or the p39 these are two excellent choices but anyway i'm going to hand you over to the gameplay now from the very first flight in this aircraft i believe this features me and makov if memory serves me correctly and i will leave you all to it and see you all on the next one so what is that eye shake the, the, the difference between that one and the one in the, in the tech tree uh, this this one has a different colored nose has slightly different wings um, and that's about it. The wings make it so they can dive a little bit better than the Tech Tree version. But that... It's it's not really noticeable, if I was to say. Like, it's... The differences are negligible. So, like, that... It's not exactly what I would call a huge difference from the Tech Tree variant. And to be brutally honest, I would just talisman the Tech Tree one if you had, like, a choice. But... I just got this thing because, well, it's the last rank 2 um, Russian aircraft that I have to get to complete my collection. But also, it's just like, why should I not get it? Like, 
There we go. My aim was a little bit horrible there, but... Good fire. Good yep. Fire. Oh, it's the Venture. Careful, he's on. Yep. There goes P40. Come on, pull up the fire. Ah, uh, he's gonna go away. Imagine being boom and doing it and fight the fire. <laughs> nah, I'm not, bo I'm not bothered about him. I'm gonna go for this P36, though. I'll go for the, yeah, I'll go for something, whatever. I'm gonna go for the P36G. Come here, son. Got him. Guess I'll go for... I mean, the, the guns on this thing hit so freaking hard, but, like... I guess I'll try to go for the air again. I'm not gonna catch it, but... You will catch it. In a dive, at least. You won't catch him in level flight. That's the problem. I'm starting to worry about my fuel right now because I'm down to three and a half minutes. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, not the best. Yeah, I won't be able to catch this guy. The enemy team has just collapsed anyway, so, like, we're, yeah, we're not... Yeah, get to, like, fire it. And then... <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, this ain't bad for a first flight, I will say that, like... I guess, yeah, alright. Still... Right, the hurricane's turning in. Mark. Yeah, don't commit to it. I don't care. Okay, there you go. Nice one. It's a Mark IV. I'm not scared of that thing. Well, you should be, but... You didn't play it smart. Finish him off. I'm also gonna go, because... Uh... I'm gonna go get some ground targets before I have to head back, because I'm down to three minutes. It's a first flight. First flights normally tend to be a mixed bag, like... They're yeah. either fun to do, and, like, you have a good first match. Like, I mean, two kills, that's not anything special, but, like, that's a good start. Um, but then you have um, matches where, like, um, like, you're just getting constantly swarmed because you're in a premium, and people want to kill you because you're in a premium, and shit like that. Like, y you get those sorts of matches as well. And it, it, it can be frustrating, especially when, like, in, you're doing a premium series like what I do and what Harry sometimes does. Because, like, the, the thing is, is that you've got to remember, yes, we're good pilots, but when we get four upped or anything like that, we, we, there's not a lot we can do. And no, no, we can't. that's the thing. People think because we're good pilots, we're automatically going to be, like, Clubbing 24-7. Yeah, you can't. Like, and we just, we just can't. Like, like for example, like I made an error. I didn't realise my fuel was at such low when I joined the battle. But on the way back, I know how to micromanage my fuel, so I will be able to get back to base. The problem is, I will have to burn up additional fuel to catch up to this B-34. Unless I can... You're, gonna, run you're not going to make it back to base, really. I'm firing rockets trying to hit him, but. How much fuel do you have right now? Uh, 1 minute 15. Oh, you're not gonna make it. It's enough, but. The problem is, is to catch that B 34, I have to use a lot more fuel. And I don't think it's worth it at this point. If he, if he turns back, I, I will not say no, but. Until he does, I'm going to keep the throttle at 30%, because, like, there, there's literally no way I'm catching this guy with the fuel I have. Because to the base, it's about 9 miles, and, like, I can make that on 1 minute 10 of fuel. Do you use miles or do you use, uh... I use miles, yeah. In the UK, do you guys use kilometers per hour, or do you guys use... Mostly miles per hour, but for some reason the tram links, they use kilometers an hour. I don't know why, but they just do. They're like a mix between America and... There we go. And throttle to 10% so I can glide a little bit. But there we go. This is why you should always check your fuel before you... Before you actually go into a match. You played 27,000 matches in RB? What the hell? Yeah, I, I've played a long time, man. Ooh, a bot. Hello. I'm gonna try to go for this Spitfire, because I hate him. 
He's the last guy on their team. I'm gonna try and get my gun. Just a more Some games you just don't have the chance to shoot with people, you know? Yeah, that's the problem. And then the other games, like the other way around, where you just. Like, I'm a, I'm a good pilot, I think, and, um. Yeah, you're pretty decent as a pilot, man. Like, no, not yourself. But in some games, just, you're just doomed, you know? Like, yeah, there's only one guy left anyway. It's that Sama HD Spitfire guy. Well, RD, sorry. Spitfire guy. I'm down to 38 seconds of fuel anyway, so I'm just going to have to fly at 40%. Which is fine, but it, it would have been nice if I'd have actually checked my fuel before I started the patch, because that, that's one thing I don't tend to do. Like, I don't tend to check my fuel unless, like, it's it's already preset for in a certain aircraft. But, like, on the very, very, very rare occasions, sometimes I just won't look at my fuel, and next thing you know, I'm out of fuel, or, like, very close to being bingo fuel. It's a habit I really need to break out of, but... Anyway, you go get them, and, well, hopefully I might be I able to get back in the match. We'll Probably. I'll hopefully be able to get back for... Oh, okay. never mind. The game's over. Well, not uh, a bad... Not a bad flight. first flight. Yeah, not a bad first flight. That that is certainly very good. Well, Although yeah, that's good. It, it doesn't really show what the plane like can do in a dive or like in a turn or whatever. But like it just shows, like, just because you don't see these things very much, like that doesn't mean they're not dangerous. So yeah, not a bad first flight, and I finished it with twenty four seconds left of fuel. <laughs> nice. There you go, you don't need fuel. Well, I mean, I kind of did, because I had to cut my throttle so badly, but... Still, like, that that just shows you a bad habit of mine, which I very rarely do, but it's still something I do. But that is not a bad first flight. <laughs>